You passed me. It's official. I'm a lawyer. <laughs> ABC's for life. 50 Cent's new brainchild. Episode 10. Man, this has been a really, really good show. I mean, just impeccable writing. A great cast. I'm still in love with Aaron Wallace. And we're going to discuss episode 10 as it focused more on Aaron's early days in prison and what really built his character. If you're finding me for the first time, please subscribe to this channel and be sure to turn on the notifications so when I drop these videos, you get them. Follow me on the gram and let's dive on into it. Episode 10 kind of went backwards to just give us a recanting of what Aaron went through when he first got in prison. All throughout this whole entire episode, entire season, excuse me, you've kind of just had more of the rehashing of Mackins and what he was doing as a district attorney to basically throw people in jail, keep Aaron at bay, and act like nothing was really going on. And in the very first episode, they didn't really highlight what was going on with Aaron in his first couple of days in prison. As much as they highlighted, he got arrested for what happened at the club and they threw him in jail. And then they kind of dove into, he became a lawyer. He started working with individuals in prison to get him off. Episode 10 was just a remarkable journey from seeing a naive prison inmate to a purposeful lawyer. I would say he went from a prison boy to an intellectual intelligent man in prison because they had a different warden who was just a pure asshole. I mean, this particular warden was all about making people bend to his will. Um, he wanted to basically be the military drill sergeant and he didn't mind having cats get beat up and broken down. And there was, when Aaron first met his cellmate, you know, they kind of had a little bit of getting to know each other. And there was a situation where the cellmate had potatoes for making alcohol or what they call moonshine. Aaron found a little loophole. They went to the in court, the in prison trial and Aaron found a loophole, and that's where he met his buddy that was a state, state senator who enjoyed the way Aaron presented the case. He got them off, and the next thing you know, the warden had them break Aaron's shoulder. And I was just like, man, damn. But not only that, you saw Aaron wind up getting into a fight with one of the prison inmates who was a murderer. He hit him in the back of the head, Aaron's just like, you know, I'm not going to deal with this. And you also saw where Aaron was offered protection by one of the black inmates who ran the cell. Aaron didn't want to get involved with that. But eventually, because of the threat from the inmate that was a killer, Aaron wound up having to go back to this inmate and be like, you know what? I need your protection. All the while, the Aryan nation is kind of in Aaron's ear too about what they would do and they gave him the heads up on this particular inmate that had killed multiple people. And so this was a crossroads for Aaron. This was really a crossroads because he felt like if I don't take out this guy that's gunning for me, I'm going to die. And so Aaron struck a little deal with the prison, the black prison inmate who offered protection. They gave him a shiv and he was supposed to go kill this guy. And do start crying on the spot, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, just crying like a little girl. Just crying like somebody took his lunch. What did Aaron do in the face of adversity? Knowing that there could be potential backlash and retaliation from the gentleman that offered him protection. Aaron dropped the shiv, he walked away, and he let the dude go. But that was the moment I feel like Aaron grew up from all the trials and tribulations that prison throws at you. In that moment, he decided instead of using violence, I'm gonna use my intellect to overcome all the pitfalls and the barriers of being an inmate. And from there, he uses intellect to strike a deal with the gentleman that was offering him protection. And he went on, 
got his law degree, made friends with the state senator, and now we're just sitting here waiting for more episodes. It's like you can't wait for a whole week for this show to come on. I would just say that 50 Cent and ABC and everyone involved with this production have done such a great job in producing a good story, great characters, and something that can be seen on regular network TV. This has been a really, really well done show, and I can't wait for more episodes. And I think they've got the baseline for great TV coming in future seasons. I was wondering how would they wind this thing down, and the way that they went and chronicled the story backwards has just been outstanding writing, outstanding acting, and we'll just have to see where it goes, man. I, I think the thing that scares me is what are they going to do when Aaron finally gets his freedom? Some of the intrigue and some of the drama from the show might be over unless they decide to expand upon the story and add him continuously working with inmates and maybe have some dirty dealings going on in order for him to win some of those cases. But I wouldn't want to see them go in that route to kind of mess up the allure and the mystique of a black male who is truly, truly a real life hero. Let me know what you liked about episode 10 and are you looking forward to what they're going to be doing with this show in the future. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video, comment, subscribe, follow me on the gram, check out the podcast, and until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.